Hey guys, welcome back. It has been a long time and I am out of practice making videos, so I feel super awkward right now. All right, so let's do it anyway. I'm going to try to get through this and it's going to be awesome. So uh, what's new since last time I talked to you guys? Well, I got another printer, printer number eight, a Piapoli Phenom uh, to add to the collection of printers here. And uh, it's not the newest printer. And actually, I didn't get this printer new. I got it used, and thank you to Michael McMaster for connecting me with the seller. I ended up getting this for about half the price of a new one. Works perfectly. Came with a whole bunch of resin, six bottles of brand new resin, and a replacement screen because on a DLP printer like this, the screens are a consumable, which means that they will wear out over time and you have to replace them every so often. So I have a brand new screen unopened in a box and this screen works great right now. So awesome. And I've printed a few things on it. Everything's worked really, really well. Minus one thing, which was my fault. It's not the printer's fault. I just didn't set it up properly. Um, the whole point of this video is that I wanted to show you guys uh, something really cool with some of the resins here. Now, months back, I recommended a resin that someone had recommended to me. I passed on the recommendation to someone else. Uh, my friend Tom and he took that resin and he came up with a blend between that resin and a different resin and he relayed it back to me It sounded great. So I took that blend and I modified it a little more and I came up with something I think works pretty well So I'm gonna show you what it is uh, It is the Soraya Tech Tenacious resin, which is a super High impact kind of like flexible almost like rubber when it prints it's really awesome mixed with the Soraya Tech fast which is also called the ABS-like resin if you get it on uh, Amazon. These are both pretty cheap. The Tenacious is a little bit more than the, than the Fast. Um, but what I did is mix the Fast, about 60%, with about 40% Tenacious, ah, which is great. And I put it in another bottle. This is an old resin bottle, and I mixed it in here. Shake it up so it's really, really, really well mixed. And you print with it pretty much like normal. I didn't do anything major to the settings. I don't know what to do if I had to. So printed on the stock settings that I had and it worked. And I'm going to show you what I made. I'm going to pause this. It's not going to be a real edit here. So I'm going to do this in camera. Ready? Here we go. All right. So now we're back inside. A crazy edit here on the camera. You can see RA7 back here. Uh, it's being upgraded, so there's some differences between maybe last time you saw them, but there's going to be a whole, basically a brand new costume here soon. This is version 1.5. I have version 2 in the works right now. He's very close. Um, and so I was going to wear him the other day, and he's got hands on the display, but these are display hands. They're not wearable. They're kind of some hands that I rotocast. I messed them up, and they just live as display hands. And I realized this on the day before I was going to go on a shoot. I was putting all the pieces together. And I was like, oh my God, I don't have any wearable hands for this droid. So I needed to print another set. So I did the uh, the hand plates that go on the back of the hand here um, on the CR-10S5. You can see there's print lines in there where I had to swap filament a few times. Um, and I printed a whole heap of fingers. Looking awesome. And most of these, I did one full set on my Prusa. So it's a filament print. And then, as an experiment, I just ran some on the Piopoli Phenom because um, I have it. And I was going to maybe, may as well try it. And the ones on the Phenom, they're real, real clean. They came out super nice. And I did them in that material. And you can see they're flexible, which is nice if I don't lose it here. Look at that. I got a bunch of flex. And they're awesome. They're very impact resistant, which means if I throw them, they just bounce around. They don't break which is really cool. Um, and this is that mix of this 60%-ish uh, uh, tenacious, or no, 60%, sorry, 60% the fast and 40% tenacious. And the blend is really, really cool. So I figured, let me see if I got another one in here that I can show you. Um, I figured I'd be able to show that to you. It's pretty cool, flexy, and and these pieces are printed 1.2 millimeters thick. So they're they are thin, thin little, little parts. Um, so yeah, the fact that it's so sturdy and holds up so well is really, really, really cool. And I figured I would share that because I haven't made a video in a long time. I'm like, I need to make some YouTube videos. And I've got a whole list of things to make. And I was like, this is on the list. So I will make this one. But anyway, yeah. RA7, new hands, new printer. Works great. 
um, PLP Phenom. Again, not the newest printer. Tons of people have done reviews on them, so that's the thing. I might have a, a small 3D scanner soon, so if that works out, I'll be doing a review on that. Hopefully in the next couple weeks, if, if it comes in soon. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, just figured I'd make an update video, because I haven't done it in a while. And like I said, I feel super awkward. Yay. But uh, let me get back to it and try to do more of these more often. But yeah, thanks for stopping by. That was it. Hope it was useful to some of you. Have a good time. Talk to you later. Bye.